Two men from Delaware County have been charged after investigators say they were seen in a video flipping a car near Temple University's campus. The mob of people caused thousands in damage hours before the Super Bowl. Now, Philadelphia police are still working to identify seven other people in that video. And now, a group of Temple students have launched a campaign to help one of the victims. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes is in North Philadelphia right now with the effort that's spreading rather quickly. Ryan, good evening. Hey there, Yuki. Yeah, we first told you about Richard Pierce back on Monday. His car was parked on this street during that block party and it was badly damaged. Now, some students that live right across the street, they are offering to take him to the grocery store to a doctor's appointment. They are also helping raise money to get his car fixed. The videos have now gone viral as cars were flipped and vandalized near Temple University during a block party before the Super Bowl. Two men have now been charged after turning themselves in. While Philly police continue to search for seven more people, Temple students Matt Asobairi and Matt Giovannini are now trying to right a wrong. The Temple body. Caused this issue, so we have to right. We have to do something for, uh, about it. This group of students say they watched the unruly crowd from their steps, and when they found out their 70-year-old neighbor's car was badly damaged, they went over to apologize. It was really just getting to know him, meeting the person, really putting a face to a name. Richard Pierce is a disabled veteran and Temple alum. He admits he was angry after seeing his car windows smashed and mirrors ripped off. I just said, you know, for every dark cloud, there's a silver lining. But in the days since, the students across the street started a fundraising effort to help pay for Pierce's car repairs. Our goal was $1,000, but uh, it, it's honestly unbelievable how, how much this has blown up. And it started spreading like wildfire. It was honestly very beautiful to see, very inspiring. The students have also offered to drive Mr. Pierce to the store and doctor's appointments. And this chaos has now helped build a bond between neighbors. The outpouring of love, especially for all these young college students, Coming up, offer me words of support and uh, you know, ask me if I need anything. It, you know, changed my anger to, you know, now, now I'm like upbeat. Yeah, and at last check, those students helped raise more than fifteen thousand dollars. Mr. Pierce says he has car insurance and plans to use some of that money to offset the cost to get his car fixed. He also tells me he wants to pay it forward and donate some of that money to those less fortunate. We are live tonight in North Philadelphia. Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia. Such a great gesture. Thank you so much, Ryan. Great story.